Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last part, we got to the end of the dungeon here by using our newly found hero's bow, and with our big key in hand, uh, collected by the Goron Elders, it's time to head into the boss room of the Goron Mines. Let's see what happened to Darbus, shall we? Darbus? That doesn't look good. Uh... Hi, hi, Darbus. That's not Darbus. So this is the Twilight Igniter Fyrus. Uh, this is apparently... Ah! Uh, run away, run away, run away! Uh, okay, so this is Darbus in possessed form. He's possessed by one of the few shadows. So what we want to do is attack his face. And um, he's going to be like, Oh no! My face! And what you want to do is use the iron boots to grab one of these chains, foot chains. Oh, I didn't do it right! Come on, come on, come on! There you go. And pull! And he's gonna fall to the floor, like so, and then you want to go ahead and go back to his forehead and start slashing away. Okay, and that's what you're gonna be doing for the most of this fight, and um, that's why we're gonna use our iron boots and our hero's bow in conjunction together. So we're gonna be- ah! This is frightening, 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 frightening. Come on. There we go. And iron boots, iron boots, grab this one. Pull, 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 pull. Come on, come on, come on. Fall, fall, fall. There you go, you jerk. And come on, let's see if I can do an ending blow for this boss this time. Nope, not that time. Alright, alright, alright. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure he's going to change his attack pattern. I'm not entirely um, convinced that he will. So it's pretty much the same thing. Once he powers up with his fire, just shoot him in the face again. And go for the shoes, or the, the chains, I guess. No, no, Link, Link, grab the chain, grab the chain, grab the chain. You have to use your iron boots here, or else he will pull you along the chain. So definitely have your iron boots on when you pull on his chain. And this should be the last part of the uh, fight here. Hopefully I can do a cool ending blow. Yes, finish! Yes, there we go! And now that the mask is off, Fyrus has been defeated. And the few shadow has left. Acquired another piece of the fused shadow. <laughs> well done. Now we have two fused shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far. So as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zant. That's the name of the King of Darkness who casts his pall of shadows over your world. He's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Zant will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. It still appalls me that this world of light is controlled by that princess. A carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach duty? But I guess I shouldn't begrudge her in the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all. And I would never wish harm on her. No, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, I'll be just fine. 
Hmm, interesting. Well, just one more left, shall we? <laughs> Very uh, interesting piece of information you gave us. Darbus? Are you okay? doing here? Oh, uh, my head, it aches. Oh, well, Darvis, you seem to be fine now, but, um, thank you for the heart container! So now we have six hearts, which is awesome! So let's get the hell out of here, leave Darvis alone to, uh, sort of capture his thoughts, or re-re-re-re-examine his life, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a therapist. So now we're done with the Goron Mines. Unfortunately, I left a few treasure chests unopened, thanks to those stupid purple rupees. But I'm not going to complain too much about that, so let's go ahead and s -s 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 save And I, I sort of switched my practice file and my real file, so that's why the real one's at the bottom now. And we made it back to the Kakariko Spring here. Very nice. Heroic Link. Oh, crap. North of here. Across the plain and past the great stone bridge in the lands guarded by the spirit Lanairu. You shall find one who you seek. One who I seek, eh? Wonder who that is. Link. Colin. Are you dying? No. Ilya. You've gotta save Ilya. Those monsters left me with the other kids. But they must have taken her somewhere else. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Ilya and hold on, Link. See? I'm fine now. Remember what I told you back in Ordon, Link? When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, Link. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. Go help Ilya. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear it. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. Right. In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. May the graces of the great goddesses who shaped Hyrule bear you on your way. Link, it looks like we have a duty to fulfill. More fates are in our hands again, I suppose. Okay, so now that we have um, defeated Virus and got our second few shadow, it looks like we have to go head north. But before we want to do that, we want to check out some of the um, areas here in Kakariko Village we never got a chance to explore very much. Right here, um, this is what I mentioned way, way back in the very like beginning of the game. Mallow has uh, become a shopkeeper of sorts, so to speak, which is kind of funny. And, uh, <laughs> look at him. Hey, you can look at stuff, but don't you dare just take things. That's my valuable merchandise. You want it, you pay for it. I decided to take on this unmanned shop. Buy something. It helps the whole village when you do. So yeah, Mallow has a small little mart here, uh, but what's funny is later on he actually acquires a much better mart. So let's go ahead and buy the Hylian Shield here. It's a whole whopping 200 rupees, so uh, now we have enough space in our wallet to get those purple rupees, but we're not going to go ahead and bother with them because they're already back in the dungeon. So the Hylian Shield is in our grasp, much better than the Ordon Shield, and it's now sold out. So we got the last one, apparently. Let's go ahead and equip it, and um, now we look more like a hero. This is awesome. So now we can actually uh, deflect fire projectiles, and it won't burn. So very nice to have the Highland Shield. Again, should have bought this when we went to the Goron Mines in the beginning.
But that's okay now that we have it. And it looks really cool. Highland Shield in our hands. Nice, very nice. And one more thing that we want to get here is uh, we want to go to the bomb factory, I suppose. Because Barnes is a owner of bombs. He makes bombs. He produces bombs. It's crazy. So let's go ahead and go into Barnes' bombs. The Barnes bombs. And let's go talk to him. Hey now, bud! How about this now? Yep, I finally managed to get my numbers together and open up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey, that's one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. But hey... Ain't as bad as all that. I'll add more times as we go. For now, have yourself a look-see. What I've got so far. So we got a bomb bag, but we don't have a... I mean, we got a bomb, but we can't get anything because we need a bomb bag. But we don't have enough money because we just bought the freaking... Freaking Hylian Shield. So we have to go and see if we can make more money. But I will try and get the bomb bag. But he's going to give us a premium kit, so to speak, or a starter kit. That uh, starts us off with, I believe, 15 bombs or 30 bombs. I don't know. And um, there's also another item that we can get at Mallow's Mart. But we I don't think we can get it right now. Unless... Oh, hey, what's up? I don't want to talk to you, you little jerk. You are the one who pushed me off. But if you want to climb on, sure, I guess I'll climb on. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway. So, for some reason, we're up here. I don't know why. I don't want to go up there in the first place. There is one more item that we can get at Malo's Mart, but uh, I don't know if we can get it right now. We couldn't get it the first time because obviously that was the introductory sequence in Malo Mart. And no, he, it's not here. Okay. There's an item called the Hawkeye. I know. Great, uh, that great reference to the Avenger character. But um, what the Hawkeye will do is you can actually use it to zoom in when you use your bow and arrow. So this is your regular view, but you can actually use it as a scope, which is really cool. So they've uh, implemented a scope into uh, into this area here. Um, right now, I don't think I can progress any further without the bomb bag. So I think I'm going to see you guys after I obtain enough rupees to acquire a bomb bag. So I'll see you guys soon. So after much deliberation, I decided to go back to the Goron Mines and get uh, the purple rupees back. So, yeah, you're, you're welcome for skipping all that stuff out. So now we have uh, more than enough to buy the bomb bag, or the starter, uh, starter kit that Barnes was offering, I suppose. So he's going to give us 120 rupees. Oh, that's the price he's going to give us. And we can combine bombs and arrows to make bomb arrows, where we need ranged explosives. So we got a bomb bag, yay! How many can we contain? How many can we hold? Let's find out. We have a bomb bag that can hold... Oh, well, it's not there. It's in here. We can hold 30 rupees, very nice. We can also uh, combine it with our bow and arrow to make bomb arrows, like Barnes previously mentioned. And let's go ahead and uh, try it out here. Just uh, give one quick little bomb arrow uh, 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 tutorial here. And, uh, oh wait, we can't equip bombs and arrows. Alright, so, uh, when you equip a bomb, you just hold it out. Make sure you don't have it, uh, too close to you when you throw it. And just go and explode. They're just like, they operate similar to bomblings from, uh, the forest temples, so don't have to worry about that. But, if we combine them with bomb, er or with arrows, we can actually, uh, set one off from a great distance away. So, for example, let's go ahead and blow up that rock from afar. And there we go. And there's a chicken in there, so I don't know why that's there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, what else can we do now that we have the bombs and the arrow, or the bombs and the bomb bag? Let's go ahead and see what's inside here. I have a bunch of chickens. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why there's chickens in this area, whatever. Anyway, we can actually go to the back of the spring here. And in the back of the spring, there should be... A treasure chest, I believe. It's right down here. Aha! Use your iron boots. Come down here. And what is inside? we to find out before we lose our oxygen. It is... Come on, come on, come on! A piece of heart! Alright, so again, we're starting the collection over. Uh, we can't blow up rocks underwater just yet. However, um, Barnes is actually going to send us a, a letter... Um, telling us that there's going to be a special uh, bomb that he's going to create for us that we'll actually will need to progress to the game, but we can't get to it yet. So I'm going to check one more time, see if Mallow has the Hawkeye item. 
see if we can equip that to our bow. Come on, Mallow. Give me something good. Get me something good. Get me something good. Please. Dang it. Alright, it's not going to be here for a while. It's probably going to be here after the third uh, dungeon is complete. So we'll probably come back to uh, Kakariko Village after the third dungeon is completed. Um, before we go, I want to show you one quick little funny thing. We should have shown this while we were still at Barnes' bombs shop. So, when you get into Barnes' bombs, he does not like fire and the open flame or anything while you're inside the bomb, the bomb shop. Um, when you're upstairs or anywhere away from the main um, checkout, I guess it is, because he's a cashier, um, and you activate your lantern, he's actually going to turn the sprinklers on. So, for example, I'll show it to you right here. And he'll be like, hey! Ah, oh, he put out our lantern. Good thing it doesn't get rid of the oil, but that, that's just a funny little thing. But if you show it in front of him, he's going to yell at you, and he's going to be like, Whoa, hey now, are you insane, bud? That's dangerous. Don't go lighting fires in the middle of my shop. And we're like, okay. So yeah, that's a funny little thing. All right, so now that I'm done procrastinating, we have completed the Goron Mines. Actually, this time, now that I went back to get the purple rupees. And in the next part, we're going to be going north to Lanairu province. That's what we're supposed to be going to, so let's go that way. Our horse is over there. Let's go over to her. So in the next part, we're going north to Lanairu province and see if we can find our third Fused Shadow and the third Light Spirit that's guarding the area. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One on my awesome horse. Signing off.